my Dulce de Leche ice cream cone cupcakes. I love Dulce de Leche. It is a South American style of caramel, and it starts with condensed milk. So I have a full tin of condensed milk, and I'll add to that three tablespoons of light brown sugar, and then a full cup of whipping cream. It really is decadent. And I'll heat this up, and you want to keep a nice, even, sort of bubbling action. You can't step away from your Dulce de Leche because you're gonna be here for about 15 minutes. Now I've got this beautiful golden color and now I can take it off the heat. As the Dulce de Leche cools, it thickens up and that's where the fun in this cupcake recipe is going to be because I'm using it not in the batter, but actually underneath the cupcakes hiding in an ice cream cone. So I'll let that cool. Now I have to take care of the cupcake batter and I'll start with a half a cup of soft butter and I'll add a cup of light brown sugar to it. I'll crack three eggs. I'll add them one at a time and scrape down the bowl after I add the eggs. Now it's time for the dry ingredients. A cup and three quarters of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I have half a cup of milk, and this too is at room temperature, a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna alternate the dry and the wet ingredients, starting with the dry and ending with the dry, and scraping down the bowl. Very nice. For a cupcake to be called a cupcake, it has to have the three parts. The liner, the cake itself, and the frosting on top. But I'm bending the rules a little bit. And instead of using a paper liner, the ice cream cone, a flat-bottomed ice cream cone, becomes the cupcake liner itself. But now it's time to make use of this luscious dulce de leche. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoonful in the bottom of each ice cream cone. That little waffle at the bottom is gonna hold the dulce de leche and then the cupcake batter is going to go on top. What's important is to not press the batter too far down. Just let it naturally sit on top because it does bake a little bit above the cone. I've preheated the oven to 350 and the ice cream cone cupcakes take about 25 to 30 minutes. And even though they're sitting in something altogether different, the test is still the same. Insert a skewer in the center and if it has no crumbs, then it's ready to come out and cool. After they've cooled, it'll be time to ice them. Look at those. And I do the same test just be careful you don't go all the way through to the bottom because that's where that little wet caramel is. It's clear, these are beautifully done. I have a batch already cooled. Now it's time for the frosting and this is a real twist on the classic buttercream frosting. So I've got two cups of icing sugar. I have half a cup of soft unsalted butter while I'm beating it, I'm gonna make use of some of this dulce de leche and add about a quarter cup. You need to save just a bit for the garnish at the very end. I'll beat this until it's smooth and then add the icing sugar. And now, just a touch of vanilla. There is one more ingredient I'd like to add, and that is a touch of salt. A little bit of salt in a caramel dessert helps balance out that sweetness so it doesn't become so overwhelming. And I've got my piping bag with a plain tip. Now it's time to get comfortable icing lots of cupcakes. And I find it easier sometimes to decorate cupcakes by actually holding it in your hands. This way you can move your cupcake around and actually hold the piping bag still, if you wish.
finish. There we go. And then the finishing touch is to actually drizzle a little line of dulce de leche right on top, just like topping an ice cream sundae. So what I'm going to do is make a little piping bag out of a piece of parchment. And all you simply do, you bring all the points of the triangle together. And then, now you have this line where you can make the piping bag tip as big or as little as you want. You just fold over the parchment, and that way, it's easy to fill. Dulce de leche. And then you just fold it to seal, and then just snip off the tip and drizzle away. Now that is a cupcake to impress the kid in anyone.